took the bus to our next stop. Here we were on our way to the Duoro River, one of the most crowded places in Porto. It is really a nice place to hang out. From here you can take one of the many cruises across the six bridges, this being one of the most promoted attractions of Porto. We'll talk a bit later if it's worth it or not. Besides the traditional boat trip, I would highlight a very interesting artist that spends time around this area. A living statue in the presence of a shoemaker. All you need to do is just leave some money and you'll see him play his part. But now let's move on to our experience on the trip to the Six Bridges. We took our trip on Tomas do Duro. In order to have better seats, our recommendation would be to port it 15 minutes or more before departure time. The boat trip across the river is one of the charms of Porto. You get to travel under the six iconic bridges, on the steps of the old wine merchants that used to transport the wine from the valley to the wine cellars. It's very relaxing as you explore the beauty of Porto. The whole trip doesn't exceed 15 minutes. I wouldn't know to say if that's too much or too little, but I would go again. These are traditional Portuguese wooden boats. They used to transport the wine and other goods along the Duro River for so long as centuries. There's something so special about the sunsets in Porto. We just couldn't get enough of them. I couldn't. So beautiful and so inspiring. It's also nice to take a walk around Farolim de Felgueiras, which is a really beautiful lighthouse on the coast of Porto. You can see massive waves at sunrise. Unfortunately, the inability of being morning persons has forbidden us to see any sunrise, 
but all the sunsets made up for our flow. The Mato Cintos was our favorite beach to travel to. It's very well connected to the city public transportation and it's perfect for sunbath or surf. extremely high number of marijuana and hashish merchants on the streets, it felt like it was the right time to go to the Porto Cathedral. Cheese. Cheese. The Porto Cathedral is a really beautiful piece of architecture which you really need to see. Additionally, we got to explore the cathedral's tower, which offers a really beautiful sight over the whole city. And then in no time, we made it to the Ruiz first bridge. Our favorite place to eat was Nola Kitchen, which is a healthy food restaurant. And what we like about it is that they are very careful with any food intolerance. When it comes to coffee, we found the best cappuccino at Noshi, thanks to the special flavor of their coconut milk. Sometimes it's fine to also create a reason to go back to a city we enjoyed. And our reason is that we didn't get to see the famous bookshop, Livrari Alelo. It's nice to see such high demand for a bookstore, and we'd like to explore it the next time we return to Porto. Other than that, I already miss Porto and its glorious sunset. The musical sound of the ocean waves <laughs> and of course the lighthouse if you like my video feel free to subscribe if you like the music please feel free to use my links in the description in order to have a discount when you open your artlist account <laughs>